I was like, what, what is this? And then the virus had to be worried about. <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? Okay, so I was researching on the internet like why my Monster Addisonia leaves are always turning yellow and I came across like mosaic virus and I was like, what, what is this? So yeah, I did this research about this mosaic virus and the thing is, it was I was looking at all the symptoms and it was everything that my Monster Addisonia has so he's now in quarantine like there and I just... <laughs> And the thing is, like, there's no cure for it, so the best thing that they said is to just dispose of the plant, but how can I, how can I dispose of it? It's like my baby, but it's stressing me out a little bit because it can spread through soil, through plant-to-plant -plant contact, and stuff like that, so it's basically like the COVID of plants. The thing is, it can't spread to humans, so thank God, please. No more. So yeah, I'm just thinking like what it has contact with my plants and luckily I don't really let my plants touch each other So fingers crossed I doesn't spread to my other plants But I'm keeping a close eye on every plant right now because I'm just super paranoid now So basically one of the main main reasons that you know it has mosaic virus is that it has this kind of pattern on the leaves Like kind of a mosaic pattern. It's not like anything special Like some people think it's like a new species of irrigation or something But actually it's not because this is just a normal Monstera Addisonii And the thing is I have it like on most of the leaves like I was wondering why it looked a little bit so weird Can you just tell by the color of the leaf like it doesn't look healthy like something is off and I really really think it's the mosaic virus I really, really think it is. Uh, I don't know, guys. I really don't know. But it does, it's in a lot of my leaves. One of the symptoms also that the leaves don't unfurl properly, so it kind of looks like abnormal, which this one does. Look, it's like not unfurling properly. I don't know, guys. I really don't want to throw it away. So these are like the newer leaves, and it just looks unhealthy. And it's like smaller than the leaves at the bottom like you can compare this to like this so i don't know it, and it's not unfurling properly i feel like it just looks not not how do you say not normal so right now i'm just gonna quarantine him because i really don't want to throw him away and i know that sometimes it's best to just throw it away instead of being sorry that it might spread to other plants but right now i'm quarantining him away from my other plants, so I just don't have the, I just can't throw him away because he's like my precious and I love him so much. So I don't know, I'm just gonna quarantine him for now and then see how it goes. So some of the symptoms is that the leaves, they get like this kind of mosaic pattern, hence the name that they get it from. And it kind of like these uh, yellow, green, like spots on the leaves or maybe like lines or streaks. And a lot of people kind of think that it's like a new version of variegation that's happening with the plants and they get super excited but it's actually not it's actually the mosaic virus and that's what's happening with Romancera Addisonia like a lot of their leaves are turning like they have like splotches of yellow and green and stuff on the leaves so it could also be like maybe there is a deficiency of something but I don't know it just it just I'm just trying to think positive Another symptom is that the growth of the plant will be stunned, the leaves will get smaller, and it will look a little bit deformed, or some of the plants will not unfurl completely. And that's exactly what's happening with my Monstera Edisonia right now, is that the new growth, the leaves are getting a little bit smaller, and it just looks deformed, like the leaves don't look healthy. So that's, I'm also convinced that it has it, because it's exactly what the symptoms say it looks like. But like thankfully, it was not in contact with my other plants, so I don't have to worry about it so much. But the thing is, I'm confused like when it all started and how it happened, because before he was not like that. His leaves were really nice, huge and green, and I had high hopes for him. So I don't know when it started, basically. Yeah, this um, virus is, I think, mostly common, mostly common with Monstera addisonii. That's what like I've done my research and realized that a lot of people have the same problem with their Monstera Adersonia. So I don't know. I don't. If you're looking for the cure for mosaic virus, there is none. I swear to you, it's the COVID of plants. As there is no cure for it, I just feel so hopeless and I don't know what to do. 
other than just wait and see and just quarantine him because I really don't have the heart to throw him away. So, I, I don't know guys, I don't know. I'm just gonna just wait because I can't throw him away, I can't. So yeah, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think? Um, do you think it could be the mosaic virus or like some nutrient deficiency? Which I strongly believe it's the mosaic virus. I'm just trying to be, make myself feel better and think that it's like a nutrient deficiency or something. So anyways, this is a really sucky video to make, so. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll probably give you guys updates, maybe on Instagram or something, but yeah, we're gonna see how it goes.